In this video, we will look at a few examples that will allow us to practice working with SSS similarity. In example A, it says, determine if the following triangles are similar. If so, explain why and write the similarity statement. So I noticed with these two triangles that what all we're given is the side lengths. So that means that if they're similar, we're going to have to use SSS similarity to test if they are or not. SSS similarity means if all three pairs of sides between two triangles are proportional, then the triangles must be similar. So what we need to do is find the ratios between all the corresponding sides and test if they reduce to the same thing. So we first have to match up the sides, and the way I do that is I look at the largest side in each triangle and I know that those have to match up and then the next largest sides, which would be 21 and 15, and then the smallest sides would also have to match up. And by highlighting like that, it helps you to keep track of it. So now we can set up our ratios, and we're going to test if 28 over 20 equals the same thing as 21 over 15, and then if that equals the same thing again as 14 over 10. And if you test each of those, you can either reduce the fractions or turn them into decimals with your calculator. If we turn them into decimals, we get 1.4 in each case. And because those numbers are the same, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, it means that by SSS similarity, these two triangles have to be similar because all three pairs of sides are in the same ratio of 1.4. So we can write our similarity statement that triangle ABC is similar to triangle, and here you have to make sure you match it up correctly, A, which was in between the purple and the green, matches up with E, B matches up with F, and then we must have D last by SSS similarity. Okay, let's go to example B. Find X and Y such that the two triangles are similar. ABC is similar to DEF. Okay, so in this case, it's saying we want the triangles to be similar, so figure out what X and Y will have to be to make the ratios between the corresponding sides be consistent and the same in each case. So let's match up the sides to start. From the similarity statement, you can see that AB will have to match up with DE. So AB and DE match up in our corresponding sides. We also know that BC will match up with EF. So BC and EF match up. And then that means that AC and DF also must match. So now that we know what our corresponding sides are, we can set up proportional equations to solve for X and to solve for Y. So let's start by solving for y. Look for the pair of sides that you know the information about in both cases, and that would be the blue highlighted sides, the 9 and the 6. So we know that the ratio between all the pairs of sides should always be 9 over 6. So our equation is going to be 9 over 6 equals 18 over y. And notice that we're starting with the same triangle in each case. The 9 and the 18 each come from the same triangle. Now solve this by cross multiplying, and you get 9y equals 108, and then divide both sides by 9, and you get y equals 12. So y equals 12, and we're going to do the same thing to solve for x. Again, start with 9 over 6, and this time your second fraction will be 4x minus 1 over 10. And we can still solve this by cross multiplying. We'll have 9 times 10 is 90. And then 6 times 4x minus 1. And we'll have to distribute that 6 to get 24x minus 6. Add 6 to both sides to keep solving. So 96 equals 24x. And then when we divide by 24, we get our answer that x equals 4. Alright, and we are done.